Hi everyone, Carla here and welcome to Waumba Land Online. I'm so glad you could join us today because we have a lot of fun things in store for you. We are doing a series called Say Cheese, which is something we do when we take pictures. We show our smile and I'm sure you have a beautiful smile. You know how I know that? Because God made you. When I say who made you, I want you to say God made me. Alright? You have to do the actions, okay? Who made you? God made me. That's right. And He made you beautiful just the way you are. And I hope that you grow up knowing and loving the way He made you because you're awesome. Okay? Now let's get ready to sing our song. I love the way that God made me. And we'll hear another awesome Bible story afterwards. I'll see you guys later.
Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm having such a great time hanging up these awesome pictures of my friends. It makes me so happy to look at them. Do you like looking at pictures? I do too. Lucy looks so happy in this picture. All I had to do was say cheese, and she would start smiling and laughing. What a great day. And here's one of Peyton. Say cheese, Peyton. And Julia. And Mariah. When I told Mariah to say cheese, guess what I noticed? She lost the tooth. She was super excited that day. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Hanging up photos, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I have all these amazing photos of my friends that remind me how important they are to me. I love them all so much. Loving your friends is great. It's true. God loves all of them, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Want to see today's special? Ta-da! They're my wild watermelons. They kind of look like they have hair, don't they? <laughs> that reminds me, you came for a story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible. Whoa! What is that? It's very hairy. Can you tell what it is? I think it's an animal? Let's zoom out. It's a bunny! Whoa! So much hair. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> hmm. What kind of animal could this be? Maybe a grizzly bear? Or a horse? Let's see. It's a llama! That's awesome! Now, check out this creature. This one might be the hairiest of them all. What do you think, wild buffalo? Let's see. It's a kid! Wow! Look at all that hair! Did you know the Bible teaches that God knows how many hairs are on your head? It's true, every single one. Can you even imagine counting this person's hair? And yet God knows exactly how many hairs are on his head. He even knows if one hair falls out <laughs> onto his shirt. He knows. And do you know what that means for you? It means you are important to God. It's true. You are so important to God, no matter where you go. You're important to God when you're at the dentist. You're important to God when you're in timeout. You're important to God even when you're asleep. You're important to God when you're in the front of the line or anywhere in the line. You're important to God when you're sad or happy or mad or even silly. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? We are important to God. He made each and every one of us. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. 
<laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. We are important to God. He made and he loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that's so awesome. God made each of us and we're important to him. My friends are important to me and they're important to God. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, I have an idea. How about I take a picture of you with your biggest smile? Are you ready? Say cheese! Wow, you guys did great! Super job, everyone! I'll see you guys later. Goodbye! What a great story. Now I want you guys to touch your head like this. What do you guys feel? Your hair. That's right, God made people with hair. Some have a lot, just like me. And some have little. And some have no hair. But no matter if you have a lot or a little, God knows exactly how many hairs are on your head. It's true, the Bible tells us that God knows how many hairs you have every single one and you know what that means it means you're so important to him god made you and you're important to him let's do our memory verse together i am fearfully and wonderfully made psalm 139 14. one more time i am fearfully and wonderfully made psalm 139 14. good job our verse reminds us that you are special because God made you. He loves you and He made you in a special way. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for making people and thank you for loving us like you do. You love us so much that you even know how many hairs are on our head. And there's a lot of people in the world, but we are all that important to you. Help us to treat each person like they are important because they are. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for today, everyone. Don't forget to ask mommy or daddy if there's an activity after this video. And we hope that you enjoy it. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend and we'll see you again next week. Bye.